back to the channel. Um, today I am going to be installing the Thule Spare Me spare tire bike carrier. This is the uh, or the bike rack holds up the two bikes. Um, 963 Pro is the serial number. Uh, I wanted to find a solution to carry my bike on my Defender without having to get up on the roof uh, just because it's a little too tall and you know I did contemplate putting the ladders on that Land Rover sells but uh, you know living in a more of a city urban environment I thought it would just be a little too much and uh, so yeah so what I'm gonna do today is just install this uh, Truly uh, spare tire carrier and uh, see how it goes, see how it fits, see if it fits. Um, I know they're mostly designed for Jeep Wranglers, but I um, figure what the hell, why not uh, this thing? So, um, again, I don't have my tripod, so I'm not going to be able to give you a continuous video on this uh, install. And uh, number two, I probably don't want you guys to see me struggling with the lugs here. Um, as you can see, I got two locks, two lock nugs, two lock lugs there and one standard. So I'm gonna go ahead, take that off the car and get everything out of the box there. Um, oh, one more thing. I had the tools for the job, which I'm just gonna use the standard spare tire uh, lug remover that came with the car. I got my Leatherman tool and the wheel nut locks. So let's get started here. So after opening the box, we have everything that we need here in the kit. Um, you know, you got the mount here and you got all your straps over there. Through the window, we got the actual mount, which will go on the tire. Um, so going through the instructions here uh, to find the right fit. We're gonna to have to look here at the on the chart. As you can see the different sizes there, different languages. So on this car, um, with the optional wheels, I believe we are at 255 in terms of size. Yeah, there we go. 255 60 R20s. So that calls for the, on this scale, you got 235 to 275, you see there. So the bracket and the adapter we want to use is we're going to use the long mount bracket and the short standoff, which is this steel here, plus the long bracket and the short standoff, which is the shorter of the two uh, screw-ins right there. So we're going to get this mounted on. And I believe pretty simple mount here. Okay, I'm just going to have to put that on right there, just like that. And then we'll put the uh, spare tire back on the car. And you want to make sure that this is in uh, a straight position there. That's how they measure it, I guess. Uh, so we'll put the spare tire back onto the car here and uh, get everything installed. Okay, we finally got the uh, mounting bracket on here. Let's see, we've got everything back in position. That sticks right out. Hopefully it doesn't uh, rub too much on the uh, wheel there. And we're gonna go put this bracket on the rack over there and get that installed and uh, I'll get that put in and then we'll get this thing attached. I haven't read the instructions. I made a mistake. I didn't, well, I didn't make a mistake. I just think that it's, the instructions aren't clear. So instead of uh, removing the short bracket that comes on the rack and replacing with that long one on the ground, uh, you just keep the short one on along with the uh, short screw and it should just slide on right like that. And then we are gonna put the bumpers on here so the rest uh, on the spare tire there and uh, we're gonna put the lock on the knob 
so we can uh, get this all buttoned up and uh, test it out. Okay, now that that's installed, what I realized with this is that you don't need that little uh, extension screw, nor do you need to put on the long extension on this rack for this car. Reason being that we don't have extra wide tires um, that you would find on Jeep Wranglers normally, like 32, 31 and a half. You don't have the oversized tires. This is pretty much a stock brim um, standard width. So I got that screwed in now. Um, and as you can tell, it looks pretty good, very flush. Doesn't add any length to the car when it's uh, sort of in uh, standby mode. And then now I'm gonna install these bumpers here on each point on the rack to um, protect the tire from the rack so there's not a lot of rubbing. So we'll get that done right now. Okay, now we got this thing all buttoned up here. Um, just have to install the straps to hold the bike. Um, test this out. The only thing I don't understand is the strap here, which is sewn on. And I get why you need it safety-wise, but then if you want to stow it, um, you got to find a different way to sort of hang the strap around. Um, but uh, I'll figure out how to loop that around so it sort of hides that out of the way. Um, but overall, very low profile bike rack that sort of just clings on to the spare tire. And the great thing about the Defender is that you have the clear view mirror on the top. You see that little camera up there. Um, so if you do have a bike installed, you don't have to be too worried about looking out of your rearview mirror there. Um, yeah, so let's um, get all the finishing touches on here. I'll put the rack up um, over here. But basically that's gonna be it right there. Good for two bikes. There's a clearance there, it's well secured. Onto the tire. Um, then you have this as safety, so that just spins unless you unlock it. Right there. So you can take it off if you need to. Um, the big thing is attaching the bike and seeing if it would clear the, the car with the bike still attached, but I have a feeling that it shouldn't be a problem. So you can open the door back of the fender with the uh, bike still attached and don't have to worry about removing them or bringing them down or whatnot. So I'll get all the final straps on and uh, show you the finished product. So this is what I wanted to share. If you have the bike in the back, it's kind of obstructed. I do have the country pack on this car, so it has the uh, partition. But if you have the clear view, you can see right over the bike and check your rear view. So that's a pretty cool feature to have and uh, that way you're not obstructed in any way. Okay, so here we go. I got my road bike on the back of the Defender right now. You can see it's um, kind of okay. Uh, it's on its rear. The rear hangs out a little bit more, but then when you got two bikes on, it's going to happen on both sides. Um, cool thing about this rack is that you have a built-in lock here, lock cable. I don't know how secure that would be. I mean, I use it if you're to run into a store uh, quickly to pick up a drink or pick up a quick lunch. I wouldn't use it for an overnight park your bike out here. Um, obviously. Won't be too crazy, um, but yeah, overall it fits really well. The rack looks like it's gonna work. I put the safety strap there while it's folded down in the loaded position, and then I probably just take it off and thread it through uh, when it's sort of in the stow position. Um, but yeah, it's good because it don't add a lot of. Um, length to your car. I was thinking about getting a traditional uh, hitch carrier. Uh, I figured that might just add probably another, you know, four feet to the overall length of the car. And this is just a little bit more low profile, which I was looking for. And uh, yeah, so it seems to work pretty well. I'm going to 
might take it on the road and give it a try and uh, see how it works out, but uh, so far it looks great. Um, anyways, I'd uh, love to hear your comments. Again, um, you know, not sponsored by Thule. This is a Thule system, but I am not sponsored by Thule or Bianchi or Land Rover or anybody. Just, um, you know, just seeing what I can add on to my uh, new truck to make it a little bit easier to do all the activities I want um, without having to get up onto the roof of the car. So, um, anyways, give me a like. I'd love to hear your comments. Um, yeah, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot.